I was a resident, there was nothing to do for a stroke. A patient came into the hospital with a stroke. They were put in a bed and told that there was nothing that could be done. In the 1980s, stroke units began to be developed to decrease the complications of stroke. But then in the 1990s, the first effective therapies became available. And now there was something to do for a patient as they were suffering a stroke to try to help them have a better outcome, to have a better recovery, to have a better future. And that was very exciting. And this is a very rapidly moving field in medicine. And so everywhere in the world, people are working every day to improve the care of stroke. The current trends in stroke have to do with identifying which patients are best for the currently available treatments and for speeding the treatment of stroke. So for example, there is a shortage of stroke specialists in the United States. So how do you cover every hospital on a 24-hour basis? And so one of the areas is technology, video conferencing, telemedicine, to be able to have physicians at a remote site see a patient in the emergency room and deliver the consultation immediately at any time of the day or night. That's an exciting field that we have been involved with. 